go to slides.new to create a new presentation. And from here, if you want to, you could choose a template on the right hand side. I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to go to view and then theme builder and select that first slide at the top here, choose the title text box, change it to the font that I want to use for all of my titles throughout the presentation, then click the body text text box, click up on the font here and choose the font that I want to use for that through my presentation. And I can close and now every slide I create will use those fonts. So let's imagine I'm building a presentation that's going to be used for an event and my first slide has speakers. I've got some headshots that I'm going to click and drag onto the slide like this and I'm going to resize them to make them slightly smaller like so. But I want these to be circles rather than squares because that better fits with the look and feel of my brand. So I click on one like this. Up in the toolbar, I click on the arrow next to the crop icon, go to shapes and then choose the shape I want to crop it to. Here's the circle and I can repeat that for the other two like this. I'm going to resize this one to make sure it's the same size as the others and then click and drag to highlight them all and make them all a bit bigger. Now I want to spread them around on my slide. So I'm going to move this one to the right over here, roughly over here to the left. It can take ages sometimes to drag and drop things and line them up. So let's imagine I want them all to be aligned along the top. I'm going to click and drag to highlight all three and then I'm going to right click and then choose align vertically and choose top. And I also want to make sure that the picture on the left is aligned with the text on my title. So I'm going to click on the left picture to select it, hold control or command on my keyboard and then click on my title like so, then right click and choose align horizontally and choose left. So no more clicking and dragging around to line everything up. Use the alignment tools inside the right click menu to do that. So it's looking better but still they're different distances apart. So now I'm going to click and drag to highlight them all, right click and then go to distribute and choose horizontally. And now they are evenly spaced. I didn't even need to click and drag anything. By the way, I have a free weekly newsletter where I send one quick actionable tip for using Google Workspace. You can click the link in the description to subscribe. Now that I look at it, I think that it maybe looks a bit too far to the left. So I'm going to right click again and this time I'm going to choose center on page and choose horizontally. And now I know these three pictures are evenly spaced apart and they're dead in the center of the page. Now we're going to come back to this slide in a moment, but I want to go back to the title slide here. And the event that we're pretending to create is an AI summit. Now that title looks okay, but I want to make it a gradient fill. And one of the problems in Google Slides is that you can't gradient fill text, except you can if you use word art. So I'm going to go to insert, then choose word art and type AI and hit enter. And it's created my word art. Now at the moment it's using the default font. So I'm going to click and choose the font that I want. And then I can change the colors. So I'm going to make the line color transparent. And for the fill color, I'm going to move over to gradient here. None of these gradients are exactly what I want. So I'm going to click the add a custom color here and choose my colors and the angle and click OK. And now I can drag this text on top of my other text to make sure it's the right size. That looks about right. So I'm going to delete the text underneath it. Just do a couple of spaces. And now I have some cool gradient colored text. Let's go back to our speakers slide here. And on the right hand side, I'm going to choose building blocks. And there's loads here you can choose from, but I'm going to go to this people section here and choose this building block. When I click it, it drops it into the slide. I'm going to drag it to where I want it like this, make it a little bit smaller. And these are all elements that you can edit. So I can click on that shape in the group here, go to the fill color, and I'm going to make that the same gradient as I used earlier as well. And I'm going to select these fonts and make sure the fonts match the rest of my presentation too. I can change the text obviously because it's all editable. And then once I'm done, I can just click on that item and then copy and paste using command C or control and C to copy and then command V or control and V to paste. Drag that along here and then change the details again. All right, it's looking good. Let's add another new slide. I'm going to delete the text boxes on here because we're going to use another trick. In the same place that I went for building blocks, just below that on the side panel is a stock images option. So I click here and I can search for all sorts of stock images. So I'm going to search for space. We can see I've got stock images, GIFs and stickers. I'm going to click on stock images to see the whole selection. And I can also choose the orientation. I'm looking for a horizontal image here and I want a large one because I'm going to use it as a background image. I want something like this, the kind of Milky Way. So I'm going to click and drag on the slide. And you see when I drag it near to the edge of the slide, the blue lines light up around the slide. That means when I drop it, it's going to become the background image. Perfect. 
Now I want to use this slide as the section header for the first keynote of the day. So let's close this panel to give me a bit more space. I'm going to click on the text box option on the toolbar here and then click to create a new text box. Type out my title like this and I'm going to select all of that. Make the text white. I'm going to click on the font menu, choose more fonts and I'm going to search for the word slab. And if I scroll down, I'm looking for this font called Zilla Slab Highlight. So I click on here, choose OK and I'm going to make this text pretty much as big as I can on the slide, maybe size 100. Drag out this text box so it, it goes along the width of the slide. Going to maybe center it here and make this bold to really stand out. And then right click on it, choose center on page horizontally. I'm going to right click again, center on page vertically. That's our same tip from earlier on. And now to create this transparency effect of the whole slide, I'm going to click on shapes, choose the rectangle and drag out a rectangle that covers the rest of the slide around this text. Obviously need to change the border color to transparent, change the fill color to white, and I can copy and paste this rectangle like so, resize it, and I'm gonna do the same thing for both the sides too. That's a way to get this really cool transparency effect with the text that you otherwise can't do in Google Slides. For the final tip today, we're gonna to go back to the speaker slide, and I really hate having to write all my speaker notes. So I'm gonna click on the Gemini icon at the top right of the screen here, and I'm gonna write a prompt that says, write my speaker notes to introduce the speakers on this slide. Hit enter, perfect, that'll do. I'm gonna copy that and then click down in my speaker notes and paste it in here. All right, one bonus tip since you've stuck around till the very end. Did you know that you can dictate speaker notes? Click on tools on the menu at the top and then click dictate speaker notes. You get this microphone icon that you may have seen in Google Docs before. The first time you click on it, you're gonna to need to give permissions to your microphone and then you can just speak your notes and it'll type them out for you. We have a packed agenda coming up today and we can't wait for you to see the rest of this event. Click it again to stop and there we go. You can see it's typed out the speaker notes for me. If the video is helpful, drop a like and if you want more tips like this, you can subscribe for free to my weekly newsletter Workspace Boost at the link in the description.